All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Summer is upon us, and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw-crafted bags, I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abby. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to The Fifth Thing. I'm Amy. And I'm Kat. And today's quote is from someone's grandpa. Ooh. Some people talk to you in their free time and some people free their time to talk to you. Make sure you know the difference. Yikes. Yeah. I felt that for myself of like making sure that I'm intentional about freeing time. Being present. Yeah. And not just with kids or I guess in my brain, I was thinking not just with friends. I really need to do it more with my kids. This is probably the busiest I've been with them as a mom or they've been, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And man, I'm clawing for that free time, especially because I only have them every other week. And I just got him back and Stevenson laid on the couch with me last night. He probably had about 15 minutes to just watch a little something before it was bedtime for him. Mm-hmm. And he laid his head in my lap and I got to rub my fingers across his eyeballs and forehead. Wait, what? <laughs> Why the eyeballs? Wait, that feels good. Uh, you know I've you... never had somebody rub my eyeballs. You should try it. No, <laughs> with your eyes closed, your eyelids, I guess. <laughs> I've still never heard of that. Like I've heard of something like scratching my back or playing with my hair, but nobody's ever been like, let me rub your eyeballs. Oh, I would love to lay there and someone rub my <laughs> eyelid balls. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm glad that you guys got to do that. I am too. I cannot think of the last time he let me do that. So the other times you forced him? No, it's just not an option because he won't lay on my lap. It'd be like, mom. And then we went through a season where, yeah, he didn't want anything to do with that for sure. So it has been a long, 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 long time. (laughs) And so... That was really special and it made me want to crave it more. And then I'm like, well, now I want to go rub Stashira's eyeballs. <laughs> and she's so busy. Like she got softball every single night. So mm-hmm. my point is I am going to make free time for them, but I need them to also free up the time. You want fr- them to free their time up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it takes two to tango. Mm-hmm. I will say, I don't know that I was that interested in freeing time up for my mom when I was like 15. Yeah. No offense to you. <laughs> I know. Well, she's almost 17 and then he's, yeah, going to be 14 oh, this yeah. summer. Which when is, I was 17, I was yeah. not saying, mom, let's, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't doing that. No. After this, I'm going to rub your eyeballs. Okay. And just, you can even do it. Close your eyes. Everybody listening, unless you're driving, close your eyes and just gently take it your finger doesn't feel across the same. your eyelids. Soft, gentle, gentle, softer. But it does not feel the same when you do something than when somebody else does. I don't know. That stuff feels pretty good to me. <laughs> I feel like when you get a facial, it doesn't feel as good when you put your own skincare on. Right. No, that makes sense. I don't, I like don't. a massage. You're not like feeling it? Yeah. Okay. Well, go to your friend or 
loved one or someone and have them rub your eyelids. Okay. Gentle. G- I'll tell ask them Patrick to rub my eyelids tonight. Report back. <laughs> I turn 43 years old today. As How do you re- feel? This is Monday. This is going to load up tomorrow on Tuesday. I feel good. So I was going to sit here and share 43 things that I learned this last year. Okay. We'll be here all day. I'm just kidding. I don't have anything. <laughs> Well, okay. What about one thing? I think one thing that I learned from my 42nd year is that I'm capable. That was actually your 43rd year because now you're 43. So that was your 43rd trip around. Oh yeah. Because zero to one. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So in my 43rd year that is making me 43 today, (laughs) there's two words come to mind, resilience and capable. Even though I'm still working on the capable part because I think there's so many parts of me deep inside that I'm working through that still have such mm-hmm. negativity surrounding that. Like I thought I had built certain neur- neuro pathways, which I do think I have come a long way, but they still pop up. So I'm still shooting them down. It's like whack-a-mole. Is there anything that felt really different in your 43rd year than In your 42nd year? Yeah, I took responsibility for my own life. That's what I'm capable of because it's my first year as a single person. Yeah. Not the whole 43rd year, but I guess I got divorced last summer. Mm -hmm. And so the resilient part is I survived the divorce part, which was really, it's just exhausting emotionally. There's so much that comes out that you're not expecting. Like even though we knew it was happening, Like I knew the divorce was coming for months and months and months. Like a year had been decided, but by the time we went there and we were finally signing the dotted line, which we didn't go sign together. I don't know why I thought we would. (laughs) That's weird maybe. But I feel like most people don't do that. Right. I don't know. We just got along so well. I just didn't picture myself going to his lawyer's office by myself, but it was so emotional. And then even when I left there, I like called my sister and she was like, what are you going to do? I'm like, well, I don't know. So I stayed on the phone with her and I stopped and I, at the grocery store and I got cheese crackers and wine. And I remember that day you were at my house recording and I was like, this is a big deal that you're going to do this. And your response was something like, I mean, no, I've known this is coming. I'll be fine. Like, I think that you were either not wanting to realize how big of a deal it really was or you just didn't know to expect that. Yeah. Because you were just acting like it was like another Tuesday. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's my, this is my warning for anything. It's like, you can think that, and it may not be divorce. Maybe it's something else. I mean, grief happens that way. It comes in waves. You never know what's going to strike you. And that was a moment where I thought, well, why am I so sad? I've been grieving this for a while. So what is so about this, but it's the finality of Mm -hmm. it all. And yeah, now I remember being at your house It's just funny looking back on that. I drove there by myself and went Mm -hmm. into the office, his lawyer's office. It wasn't even my lawyer. Looking back on it now, I'm like, should we have done it together? She did say when I sat down, she said, hey, I got to tell you, because I didn't really know this person because they worked with Ben. And she said, I got to tell you, y'all should teach a class on how to get divorced. We've never seen anything like this, like this amicable. So see, it's probably not that far-fetched that we would have gone together, but probably a little far-fetched. So resilience got through that. I'm capable taking over my finances, learning things around the house, believing in myself. Still a work in progress. Do you know what the most fun part of your 43rd year was? Let me think. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took the kids to Hawaii yeah. for Thanksgiving. Okay. I, I obviously have special moments. Nothing was just yeah. popping to my mind because I just, I'm more excited about this year, my 44th year. I'm excited okay. about the future. And, uh, Hawaii was a very, very, very special trip because we went with my sister and all her kids were there, me and my kids. It was my first trip as a single mom. Mm -hmm. I rented a car all by myself. I am capable, you know? I got a hotel room all by myself. And for some people, it's like, what? But when you're married for 17 years and your husband was the person that liked to do that sort of stuff, like he Mm -hmm. liked planning and booking and making sure everything's all buttoned up. And I just like to show up, you know? (laughs) So uh, then I was like, oh, I got to book this. I got to plan this. I mean, when I went and rented that car cat, I kid you not, I felt like it's, this is the most adult thing I've ever done in my <laughs> life. I'm a 42-year-old mama too, and I'm renting a Jeep in Hawaii. It's nothing to write home about, but <laughs> I was very proud of myself. And so I think that 
whatever it is that you're doing for the first time, celebrate it because mm-hmm. it was cool. Like high five yourself in the mirror or have mm-hmm. someone high five you or close your eyes and have someone rub your eyelids. You deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. And uh, so that's a highlight. That was for sure something special because also we stayed at a hotel that was two hotels down from the hotel that my parents took me and my sister to on Waikiki Beach when we were kids. And my sister and I by ourselves left everybody else behind and walked over to that hotel one morning with our coffee and went and sat in these rocking chairs. And we just talked about mom and dad and how, you know, we wish they were there with us now, but it's cool. We have the memory from we were kids and we were looking around at the aesthetic and the vibe of the hotel. And I don't know if I told you about this when we got back, but our parents renovated our house shortly after we got back from Honolulu. And they definitely modeled it after this hotel. There was forest greens and like this like peachy coral color. I mean, everywhere. Did you have a Hawaii themed No, it's not Hawaiian themed. It was just the colors and the okay. banana trees. There was banana oh. trees everywhere. And guess what we had in our backyard? And there was this huge window in our entryway that went into our backyard. Banana, banana tree. That sounds Hawaiian themed. Well, the banana tree is probably the only Hawaiian yeah. thing, but it wasn't like palm trees and, you know, birds and stuff. <laughs> but it just was forest green. Like we had forest green countertops. We had forest green carpet. Oh, wow. We had forest green walls. We had peach walls. I mean, everything was just very yeah. maybe Hawaiian, but not. It's not like a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying yeah. to paint a picture that it wasn't like a Hawaiian shirt. Like, like flowers. And, threw up yeah. on our living room. Yeah. It was really pretty. It was tasteful. It was tasteful. But that that was a special moment where you, as adults, we had no idea. But it's so obvious. Like we were like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. <laughs> they took, and so I think that that's something fun to know that that was such a special place for my parents that they wanted to bring that vibe and that energy into our home. Yeah. So any hootsie, I have just quickly four, not 43, four gut instincts that we should not ignore. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or fine leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going, make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you all of the ways therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have my back pocket for we need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. I don't want to waste my time taking vitamins that aren't really going to do much for me. Like I want research. I want to know like, hey, this is actually doing something for my body. And Ritual knows this. That's why they conducted the research. They've done clinical trials on their Essential for Women 18 Plus multivitamin. The results, well, it increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. And as a woman, I want 
healthy vitamin D levels and omega-3 levels. And all I got to do is take my Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin every morning. I take them on an empty stomach, but sometimes if I forget, I may take them in the afternoon. It's really up to you when you want to take them. There's nine key nutrients in two delayed release capsules. And what the delay release capsules does for us is it optimizes our body's absorption of these nutrients. It's gentle on the empty stomach. Like I said, I can take it first thing in the morning and I'm totally fine. And with a minty essence in every bottle, it actually makes taking your vitamins enjoyable. No more shady business. Ritual is essential for women. 18 plus is a multivitamin that you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash four things. Start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash four things for 25% off. I have four gut instincts that we should not ignore. And this is something that I saw and I thought, I want to share this with everybody because four is fitting, four things podcast. And if you have one to add in, Kat, it can be like the bonus one since this is the fifth thing. But a sense that you are not well, your body always knows when something isn't quite right and you will always receive signs when something is is off. Trust your body. It is intelligent. And I've heard that we're always going to receive signs, but I do think that we should pay attention more times than not. And I'm definitely one that's like, eh, it'll be fine. Ignore. Eh, Mm -hmm. it'll be fine. It'll ignore. But what this is doing for me is I have this spot on my leg And I'm going to go to the dermatologist and have it checked out. A spot like a mole? It's like this weird scabby bump thing that keeps popping up. And Mm. I need to go listen to my instinct. It could be nothing. But the other night, I just had this feeling. I went down and felt it. And I'm like, you know, I need to go to the dermatologist. So that's what I'm going to do. So I don't know anybody else that needs that little nudge to go get it done. I went and had my blood work done not too long ago for my hormone stuff. And... I don't understand exactly how testosterone works, like the different levels, like what women are supposed to have. So I'm just making up numbers for the sake of you understanding the results I got. Let's say this particular type of T, you know, I got low T. Let's say ideally women would want something between like four and nine. Again, I'm making these numbers up. Well, I have like 0.5. Oh. So like I'm not, it's like very, very low. And she was throwing a lot of information at me. That's why I'm having to make up numbers for you right now because I don't have the piece of paper in front of me and I don't remember all the details. But she did say she could call in a prescription for this testosterone cream that I pick up and then I put a dab. Hopefully it measures it out for you because I want the appropriate amount. You put it behind (laughs) your knee because if you overdo testosterone, your voice will change and you could grow body hair. So I'm like, okay. I don't think they're putting in that level of, I don't know. I didn't know that testosterone cream, I thought I would assume that it was like a pill or something. I think there are pellets you can take or something, Pellets, (laughs) but this is a cream and you put it behind your knee. Interesting. So I'll keep you posted on that. But that was another thing where I just listened to myself. Something has been off and low T causes a lot of spaciness. Oh, and you know, I've been spacey. I just thought that's just me. But it's been worse. Your low T. It's my low T. Is so now everything that happens? I'm like, sorry, low T. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Sorry, I'm late, low T. <laughs> sorry, I'm tired, low T. <laughs> Excitement about an opportunity. This is an instinct you should not ignore. Excitement is your intuition's way of saying that something about that opportunity is resonating with your soul. Don't allow your logical mind to talk you out of something you deeply feel is aligned mm-hmm. for you. I like that one. Cat, book that next trip. Uh, I already have. (laughs) I was going to say, I think a lot of times we like don't want to get excited about things because I don't know, we don't want to jinx them or we think that maybe other people won't think they're that big of a deal. So we kind of like dim the sparkle of it. So that's why I like that one. It's like allow yourself, if you're excited about something, be excited about it. Yeah. A feeling of danger. When you get a feeling something is off and you feel an immense sense of nervousness, take it seriously. It's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, 100%. I don't have a problem with that one. So I was in bed falling asleep, almost there. You know that like, you don't want to get back out of bed. But then I had this sudden feeling of that I didn't lock the back door. Oh, yeah. And I turned the alarm on, but still something about the door being not locked. And I was like, what what are the odds something's going to happen? But I got up and I went and I locked it and I just was able to sleep. It was unlocked? It was unlocked. 
and I slept better not mm-hmm. knowing because if I kept putting that, who knows, it would have been five, 10 minutes. And eventually I was going to have to get up anyway because it would keep me up. So the minute you decide you need to get up to go lock some doors, go lock them. But who knows what could have happened if I hadn't locked it. Did you know that in Canada, Toronto specifically, they're having so many car thefts, like people breaking into homes to get keys to steal their cars that they are saying, hey, look, just go ahead and put your keys by the front door or wherever they may break in. Not that you're, you could know exactly because that way they won't have to like beat you up to get your keys. And that way you won't get hurt. Like they'll break in and they'll be like, oh, the keys. And then that's the solution though. Well, they said- Just let them take the car. Yeah. That's wild. Well, Might as well put them get... in the car. No, because then insurance. They'll oh. be like- You left your keys in your car? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just Well, thinking. you know that how, what was it? What brand car that like they were all getting stolen? Was that Hyundai or something? There was a parking garage in Nashville that every single one of the, it whether Kia. it was a Kia or Hunt, whatever it was, like all of them got stolen one weekend. Yeah, that's so weird. And they didn't have to break into anybody's house. They just, I guess, rigged it up. Yeah. I don't really know that I'm going to like, I could picture me now, like leaving all of my stuff. Like here's my wallet, my computer, <laughs> oh, my valuables. My, <laughs> just, hey, leave a little note, some snacks. <laughs> And be like, hey, I'm sleeping. I'd rather <laughs> not have the trauma of you waking me up to steal all my things. So just like, take it. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Something to consider. A thief basket or something. <laughs> the final thing, being drawn to someone. We are always drawn to people for a reason. It means their presence serves a divine purpose. Even if it's only a brief encounter or temporary relationship, there is a reason that you have collided with this person. It makes me think of that saying, People come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. <laughs> I wanted so, it to rhyme. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> or nothing rhymes with that. But Treat. I do I do like that because yeah. it helps. Like even... Well, that's like the... No offense, but that's... <laughs> well, duh. It's either a reason, a season, or a lifetime because if it's not a season, then it would be forever. Yeah. It just... It, that's not like you mind-blowing. Like this? It just is... It feels like pretty like, duh. <laughs> I and maybe it's helpful. It might, might help because it, it could be like three w- reason or three ways people are in your life, but it's just, I have no commentary. It just is like, yep. So as a you therapist, know? you would not say that to your client? Because I feel like that's pretty deep. <laughs> I, I don't, if, I think it's very surface. If my therapist said it to me, I'd be like, this is why I'm paying you. <laughs> I probably wouldn't say people are in your life. <laughs> you would say, can I tip you? That was really deep. No, I said, this is why I'm paying you. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Yeah, you would want to give me extra money because it was so deep and oh. so profound. You know what? I'm getting you a picture for your office, a frame. Because <laughs> I know you like to put up these frames, like the cool sayings in your office. Yeah. And I'm getting you one that says, people come into your life for a season, a reason, or a, a lifetime. lifetime. Amy Brown. No, it's not me. I don't no. know who said it. Someone's grandpa, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you want something deep, come to the fit thing. Kat, where can people find you? On Instagram at cat.defada and at you need therapy podcast. And I am at Radio Amy. You can also call us. I haven't had time to check the voicemails. I wanted to pull some for this episode, but here's the problem. <laughs> I want to listen to every single one. You can read them, but I like hearing people's voice. Yeah. And so then I'm wanting to listen to them. And then that's one of those things where I have to make the time for it but I also am mm-hmm. trying to make time for my kids and my friends. And there's not enough and time being in intentional. Day. And if my eyeballs are wanting to be massaged, they need to be closed. But I guess I could listen to While you nails. massage your eyeballs. Okay, well, there we go. 877-207-2077. Bye. Bye. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like, to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus. This is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. 
Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you, and how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com. 